So what's going on guys? Oh man, I'm trying to get this sound thing going. I got my helmet and I was trying to get my helmet to work before it's me be able to talk on driving. I really love driving. I really love talking while I'm riding and things like that. It helps me be more creative with my words and thinking and things. It kind of clears my mind. Driving, but fortunately, I still need to work out some kinks in my helmet and how I'm going to talk and things like that. I wish I hadn't have to wear a helmet, but if I don't wear a helmet and try to talk to you like this, it'd be so much wind. So I'm still working on that. Uh, it's a process, but I eventually will get it figured out. So, the first, so this video, okay? This video is something that I started to see a lot of. It's summertime. People are starting to get their buy the slingshots. Some people are starting to get the slingshots out. Everybody's just ready to hit the streets. And this video is for those who just get their slingshots, okay? Let me tell you this. When you go on the forums and you ask, I just got my slingshot, and what's the first modification should I do? Oh my god, like, you know, it's like, oh my god, what, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can do that. I'm, I'm a, first of all, calm down. Calm down. You have slingshot that's the first thing that's the first thing that you got you know check it off that's the most important thing is that you got your slingshot first so that is great congratulations first before you decide to do any modifications now this is going toward the people who have uh, just got their slingshot okay and this could be to some people who already have their slingshots and want to think about doing modifications okay so you got your slingshot, that's the first important thing. Ride your slingshot first, okay? First, drive your slingshot. Because everybody's modifications does not fit for everybody's purposes, okay? Not everybody needs to have floor mats. Not everybody needs to have different mirrors. Not everybody needs to have a spoiler. So first, ride your slingshot. Get to know your slingshot love your slingshot and then as you're going and thinking about what things that you see that you know what this would be kind of nice to have for instance if you have your slingshot and it's really hot in the feet area because of the heat of the motor and things like that then decide you know what I'll give me some floor mats okay then from there you move on to the different things some people don't like their cup holders sitting back here so they have uh, special cup holders that fit up here that has a visor for your navigational system and things like that go and what fits you because the thing is so people make mistakes is that they see something cool they run out and go get the modification but really it really is not it's not for them really they don't they don't need it and it's just wasting their money when they could use that money for a modification that they really needed or really wanted okay so make sure whatever modification you get get it for you okay it's all cool and dandy to go and see different people's slingshots and say oh man that looks cool oh man that looks awesome but a lot of times it's expensive these modifications are not cheap okay so you have to ask yourself, what's more important, functionality or looks? You want clout or you want you know, something that's going to make you feel good when you ride your slingshot? So just be careful. Don't fall in that pit hole of looking at other people's stuff and, and feel like there's a peer pressure. Like you got to be like that other person or like you got to be like this person over here, that person over there because they, they look cool. It might look cool, but at the end of the day, does it fit you? Okay, not everything, not every modification fit everybody. Now, of course, you're looking at me like, what, you know, I got a spoiler back here, and I got, you know, these mirrors and stuff like that. Let me tell you this. First of all, this spoiler came with the slingshot, okay? So I, if I had bought this slingshot, I probably would never put a spoiler on here because even though it's great, and I'll make a video about the spoiler, it's great, awesome nice looks cool and everything like that but it makes me eat up my back tire because of the downforce of when i'm when i'm riding my slingshot and it eats up my back tire like a mug okay 
So let me get back to what I was saying, okay? It's for modification. Another thing about modifications that you must, 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 must realize and understand is that these modifications are not cheap. Some of them are cheap, some of them are good deals, and some of them are expensive. So when you think about your slingshot and you sit there and you say to yourself, okay, here are the things that I want to do in my slingshot. Get a list, sit down, write a list, you know, of what things you want to do in your slingshot. Then what you do is then you start looking at pricing. How much does it cost? If it costs, if it costs a thousand dollars, or no, but yeah, if it costs like four thousand dollars to get a sunshade, or if it costs nine hundred dollars for a spoiler, or it costs three hundred dollars for a windshield, you have to look at your budget, okay? And you have to ask yourself, okay, you know what? Putting myself in a financial bind to do modification is dumb as hell, okay? You're stupid. You would be dumb to sit and put money on a modification instead of, first of all, making sure that you're making your payments, number one. Because you have to be the biggest idiot in the world to buy a $25,000, $27,000 slingshot and turn around and put $7,000 in modifications and, and then what happens is that you put all your money in the modifications and then you can't make the payment. Or you put your money in all the modifications and you're behind on your note. And next thing you know, you either have to sell it or they come and repo it. And what good does that do? Because if you sell it, that that seven thousand dollars that you put into modifications, you're gonna lose it because people are not gonna pay for your modifications. Let me tell you that now. Yes, you might get a little bit of a bump, just a little bit, but you won't even nearly get back half of what you put in on your sink shot. So be prepared to lose your money. Be prepared to lose your ass on your cost of modifications because it is not going to pay off at the end if you have to sell your slingshot. I promise you that. So just think about it first. And then what you do is, is that you start from the smallest. You know, do you, okay. Modify your slingshot according to your finance, how much money you can spend, okay? If you got a good grip to spend, then so, you know, do your thing. But if you're on a budget, like me, I'm a baller on a budget, I only do small things here and there, here and there. Save my money up until I can get what I really want. But in the meantime, just get you a little bit here, a little bit there. It's okay. It's okay. You don't have to go and blow your whole a bunch of money on modifications. You have years with your slingshots to modify it. Just like buying a house, you can buy a fixer-upper and it might take years but eventually you're gonna to get to where you want it, but it's just gonna take time. And the problem with people do is they get the, it's, a, it's just, we're too grown for peer pressure, number one. We're too grown. We're grown ass people. If I go to a slingshot fest or a slingshot show and I see these guys with these slingshots and how beautiful they are and this, that, and the other, do I get jealous? Hell no, because I know they spend a crap load of money. And at the end of the day, we're no different. We're still riding slingshots. But yes, there might be a lot more or whatever, and that's great. But at the end of the day, you got your money and he has his money, okay? Your money might not be as long as their money, so don't try to compete with these people. Don't sit there and try to, like, get, like, all these modifications because you see somebody else does it. Do your own thing. Modify your own slingshot to what you want it. You can take, you can take ideas and suggestions and you can take, you know, what do you call it? Uh, you know, you can take a vision of seeing what other people have and then try to make it your own. But don't do it at a cost of putting you in debt, okay? Because at the end of the day, people are not going to tell you, people are going to keep it real like this. People are going to want you to buy because that's all, St. Shark is a big consumer item. That's what they want you to do. They want you to buy, 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 buy. And that's great and dandy if you got the money, but if you don't, just be happy. Just be happy you're right. Just be happy you have a slingshot. It does, you know, there's a lot of people out there who don't have the luxury that we do, that we own slingshots. You know, the thing is that when I'm riding my slingshot and I see people and they're looking at you in the cars like, and you can see, you can see it in their eyes. You can see it in their soul that they feel, they wish they could be riding like you. 
Why do you think that these slingshot rental businesses are booming and making a lot of money? It's because you have people out there who want to ride slingshot. So just be happy that you are riding a slingshot and that you have fun in it and things like that. Don't lose sight of modifications for riding your slingshot. Don't lose sight of why you got it in the first place. You got it because you want to ride, you want the freedom, you want the air, you want whatever reason. Because I know for damn sure not everybody's there saying, oh, I want a slingshot so I can trick it out, so I can pull these lights, so I can blah, 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 blah. No. When you walk into that dealership, when you go to that person's house and pick it up, what are you thinking about? You're thinking about ride. You're thinking about the sights. You're thinking about the smells. You're thinking about the, the look of the, you know, the freedom, the wind blowing in your hair. Meeting other people who have slingshots. That's what it's really about. It's not about the modifications. And never lose sight of that because every day I don't lose sight of I am grateful that I have the ability to ride a slingshot. I have, I'm grateful that I'm able to afford these and that I'm very smart with my money and that everybody needs to think about that. So when you get your slingshot, don't jump into just getting my Think about what modification that's going to suit you. And that at the end of the day, through all this bull crap, we're slingshot riders. We're brothers and sisters. That's what we're about. And that we ride our ride. So don't get caught up in what's the first thing you should get because most people are going to tell you things that they got. Find out what you want. And it's okay to ask these questions, but just make sure you understand that not everybody gives you solid advice. And you know what? You can think I'm just a whatever kind of guy doing the same thing, but I'm, I'm telling you some real good advice that I followed myself, and I think you should do as well. So with that, guys, I'm going to get out of here and head home. Uh, I'm upset that I couldn't get my helmet working, but I will eventually get this thing. Ride, and I'm probably gonna do a little filming while I'm riding, so uh, check it out.